Hello, my name is Kevin Pires. I am a senior applications engineer with Expo. And today, I'll be going over VLAN scan testing. So today, I'll be testing using an FTB1 Pro uh, with an FTBX88260. So that's our uh, up to 100 gig E uh, module. And uh, we have a universal interface. So if you have an older version or a different version of uh, Expo Ethernet Tester, it will look very, very similar. So VLANs are a great way for operators to deliver traffic, improve the quality of service, you know, control prioritization. It's basically a virtual LAN. So it's used heavily in the industry today. So it's important to understand how to identify your VLANs. And so in different types of networks, they use differently. Uh, in mobile networks, um, traditionally, they do not own the backhaul. So the backhaul is provided by a third-party provider. And a lot of that traffic is usually dropped at the baseband unit using VLANs. And so it's coming in raw ethernet using a VLAN, and it's important to populate that VLAN within that switch, otherwise you will not have access to your bandwidth. And so from a front hall perspective, if I'm a cell technician, being able to scan for the VLAN to verify it's there is critically important. If it's not there, then I'll call my backhaul provider or my network engineer to notify them that the VLAN was not configured appropriately. And so we'll teach you how to scan for that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the unit here. And so I am using, uh, essentially it's a uh, FTB1 Pro. Uh, I have two modules in here. So I have the FTB730C over here on the, in slot one, and then I have the FTBX88260. And so these are the two modules that I have in this unit. And today I'll be focusing on the 88260. And the application that we'll be using is the NetBlazer application. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch that application. So once it's started up, this is the toolbox interface for the NetBlazer. Uh, so I have a lot of different icons here because I have a fully loaded unit, uh, but the application we'll be focusing on today is going to be traffic generation and monitoring. If you have an older FTB1 platform, then the VLAN scan application is within Etherbird. For the newer applications, it's within traffic generation and monitoring. So this orange indication on the icon means that the test suite is already launched. So I'll just go up here to the top left over to Test Configurator, and I'll select that. And so here's a configuration uh, for traffic generation and monitoring. So right now I am uh, on port B1, so down here at the bottom left, I'm on port B1, 10 gig LAN, and I have link, which is what I want. Uh, but there's one additional thing here. Actually, B1 is actually my CIPRI interface, and so I'm not doing a CIPRI test, I'm doing a BERT Ethernet test, right? And so this is my CIPRI um, SFP, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch the interface up here where it says modify structure. I'm gonna switch the interface. Uh, if you're using one of our legacy units uh, up to 10 gig, uh, those will have port one and port two, and port one is, is typically what you wanna be on. Um, in this case here, my 88260 has an open transceiver system, so it actually has multiple ports and a sub port as well. And so my CIPRI SFP is on port B1, my Ethernet SFP is actually on port B2, so I'm gonna select port B2, single port, and I'll go ahead and hit okay. And then that'll change and modify the structure to port number two. And here we are on port number two. Uh, so that was the modify the structure. So you'll see again down here at the bottom, we have our link and our power levels coming in. And that's really all we need. We just need to verify that we have a link. So typically you'll go in there, modify the structure uh, to the appropriate rate, uh, and then you'll get link. And then once you have link, then we can start to scan. So over here to the uh, bottom right, we have setup, results, and functions. So we've been in setup the whole time. Uh, once I have link, I don't have to hit start or transmit, none of these other options right here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go uh, over to functions in the bottom right. I'm gonna select functions. And then up here at the top, we see where we have traffic scan, right? So we see where we have traffic scan up here. I'll go and hit traffic scan. And then you'll see, a VLAN's already been identified. So I did a quick VLAN scan, and then we have two VLANs. We have an S VLAN and a C VLAN. And so one is 202 and one is 101. And it's as simple as that, right? This is how we quickly identify that we have a VLAN present. Uh, if we're testing, Ethernet testing, then we can configure our test set for that VLAN so we can test across the network. If I am concerned about identifying if, to see if the VLAN is present, like, v, you know, because the VLAN isn't propagating, then this is a great way to do it. I have a VLAN, it's the VLAN that I'm expecting, and this is exactly what I wanted. 
And so that's basically it. I mean, that's quickly how you do a quick VLAN scan. If you do not see this tab, then you do not have this option because it is an option, uh, you know, with our unit, uh, to, you know, to be able to uh, to do that. And so, um, and that's pretty much it in a nutshell, right? That's VLAN scan testing uh, the Expo way. My name is Kevin Pires. Thank you very much.